one, it's Debbie and Jimmy with Nana feeding the heart. Of course, we always have to feed the heart, the spirit, and our tummy. So tonight or this evening, we're going to make what we call pineapple baked barbecue chicken foil wraps. And we have done full wraps in Florida with Polish sausage and things like that. So we want to try it with chicken. Mm -hmm. So yes. So we're going to make the sauce first that goes with the chicken and get that out of the way. And then we'll bring the chicken in and do that. Okay. So we're going to start out with smoking John's barbecue sauce we've used before in the past, which we totally love. Yeah. That's good. So a half a cup. Now this calls for maybe four people. Tonight, Jim and I are just going to be two of us. So I may half the recipe a little bit, but I'm going to put the full recipe um, ingredients in my directions on my YouTube. So that will be for the full for four. Tonight we're doing two. Okay. So half a cup of our barbecue sauce. The garlic, of course, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put about a half a teaspoon of garlic to a teaspoon. Depends on how you want your breath to smell tonight. <laughs> also, we both eat the same thing. We're all right. We're good? Okay. <laughs> well, I like that. Yeah. All right. So, my paprika. So, we're doing about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of paprika, however much you like. And it can call for smoked paprika if you like. All right, two tablespoons of olive oil, and I've already pre-measured this as well. I kind of pre-measured all this before we start it, kind of help it out. So, okay. And re remember to open all the bottles. We just did this time. <laughs> right, because we actually bought a new cilantro <laughs> for this recipe. And we have been very guilty of going, and it calls for this, like, no, I can't get it open. So yeah. <laughs> this is actually open and able to use it tonight. So we learned our lessons. So yes, so we're going to use a little bit of cilantro. Use it to your taste. Some people like, some people don't. So I'm putting a probably about half a teaspoon to teaspoon, whatever you like in mine. Okay. All right, now it calls for uh, two tablespoons of lemon, fresh lemon. I'm using a half a lemon just for Gemini, and it looks like what I have squeezed out a good tablespoon or more mm. of fresh lemon. I've already done it, pre squeezed it. it oop, still has some more in it. Yeah. Minus the seeds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there it went. At least it didn't get into it. <laughs> no seeds allowed. There's my trash bag. There's right my there. trash bag. <laughs> Perfect, right? Right. About a half a teaspoon or less, whatever you like, oregano in it. Okay, now this is going to be our sauce that will go over top of the chicken. And then I also have things already prepped for the chicken to start making here in just a second. So we'll be back in a second and then we're going to make the, ch the chicken in. Okay, we got the sauce done. Now we're getting ready for the vegetables and chicken part of the foil wraps. So first, I'm going to start with some red and yellow peppers that I've already cleaned and cut. Now, it usually calls for one red and one green pepper. Now, if you love green peppers or you love all three colors, add them, whatever you love. I have to, I like green peppers, but green peppers don't particularly like me. So I chose to use the yellow and red tonight for just the sweetness of it and not to bother my stomach tonight. Yeah. You're right. So I've already pre-sprayed our aluminum foil packs here, three of our packs. The oven is at 350, preheating. Simple. This is so simple. We're just going to lay some of the veggies down, a half of each. Got to have your veggies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm red, looking pretty. Now the green probably would not look like the pineapples. <laughs> I was going to say the yellow may look like your pineapples almost. But it's okay, we know. We know they're peppers. Okay. And then I just had a little bit of red onion left over. You don't have to add onion. You can add some sweet onions, however you like your... So I'm just going to put a little bit of red onion I had left over so I won't be wasting food. And I like my onions. I think oh, yes. it would be good if this 
pineapples, barbecue sauce. It has to be. All kinds of different All kinds flavors. of goodies, yes. Give it some really good flavors tonight. All right. There you go. And, of course, I left out my peppers just in case I needed some more. All right. These are pineapple chunks. Just putting some pineapple chunks in there. Yum, yum, yum. So, how many do you think you like, honey? Is it one, two, three, four? Yeah, it's a good wrap there. Right there? That's yeah. it. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, we were not going to be barbecuing outside tonight because Jim said it's what? It's 92 air temperature, but the heat index is about 100. So, we thought tonight the air conditioner might be a better option. <laughs> a little bit there. All right, you sure that's enough? I'm gonna put a little bit of juice. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think it looks really nice. Okay. All right, of course, I'll have the juices of the chicken too going into it and the sauce we just made as well. Right, now this calls for um, chicken breast. We happen to have some chicken thighs. So we're gonna use two thighs each. If you do the chicken breast, if they're really thick, you might want to, you know, thin them down a little bit or make sure you cook them long enough in the oven. This will probably cook probably in 35, 45 minutes. So, all right. Just going to lay them on top. Here comes this one. This is so fun and do together. You can make this together in no time. On a weekend, this is a Friday night for Jim and I, home alone. <laughs> time to get your bread and rest to that. Yes, and, just, and we're also going to make some, probably some rice to go with it as well. Of course, add some salt and pepper if required. Mm -hmm. pepper. I'm excited about this, honey. I am too. Okay. All right. Now let's put some of this delicious sauce on it. And always um, save a little bit of sauce toward the end because what they want us to do is open them up toward the end and put some more sauce on it. And then broil it for a couple of minutes to get it crispy. Oh, that's really going to be good. Yeah, look at this. How awesome this looks. The sauce is so good. Look at all the good stuff. Okay. And this will all kind of seep down into your veggies as well. And we'll give it good flavors. Let's just get every little nick and corner there. All right, I think I have enough to do it for some more at the end to crisp it up. So I'll say that. All right, so I actually have a sheet pan as well to put under this as well. So we're going to close these up, make our little foil packs, and then we're going to put them in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. We'll check them, and then we'll come back and open them up, and then put some more on there and put them in the boiler. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we've had this in the oven for about 35 minutes. So we got it out, we've opened it up. It feels tender. I just poked it with the, the fork. Smelling amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, oh my goodness, smells so good. So we're gonna put some more of the sauce on top to crisp up. It's very juicy. Mm -hmm. This will go good for your rice, all those juices to mix in. Be really good. We've got our rice on cooking as well. We got some jasmine rice, didn't we? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's just finish her up. Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Let's just do. <laughs> so good. Okay. So we're gonna put this in under the boiler for I'm gonna say one to two minutes. Um, just watch it. Make sure it doesn't burn it. So. We will come back and hopefully this will be kind of crispy on top. 
Okay, we have it out. We actually put ours on the boiler closer to four minutes. Mm -hmm. And we just did watch the two minutes. We thought, mm, a little bit more. So we put another two minutes on it. So it looks about right right now. So our rice is done. So I'm going to go ahead and just dip one of these out for right now and put it on top of our rice. And I'm going to come back in here and get some more pineapples. Yeah. Yep. Just it, some that good this juice. This smells so good. I, it's just hard to describe how wonderful this smells, actually. I'm we'll going to have to come in probably with a spoon and get um, some of this wonderful juice for it to go with the rice. So, I mean, it's just a wonderful meal, healthy meal, I would say. Yeah, I think it took us about, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, nothing hardly. Yeah. And, you know, we, did, we prepped, you know, to get, you could prep it together and it makes it go faster. All right, so this is really hot. I don't want to burn myself, so I'm going to get the first taste <laughs> and see what it tastes like. Yeah, be very careful. I'm sure it's very hot. <laughs> Good point. You know, I, I need to start letting you taste first. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me think about this. <laughs> You're like, maybe not so much, <laughs> Debbie, right? <laughs> mm, smells great. Looks great. All right. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the pineapples and the veggies peppers peppers onions everything that you and i love together Let's see if we get a happy dance out of this no yeah okay mm -hmm. hot but so flavorful oh my goodness with the rice and the veggies, the pineapple, the tang from the sauce we just made. You taste everything. It's so delicious. I'm so excited to feed this to you, honey. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Please try to fix this, people. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip because it was hot. <coughs> Sorry. Take a pause for a second. <coughs> Okay, we just finished up. The taste test was amazing and wonderful. So everybody, thank you for everything and watching us tonight. Um, as my shirt says, Ephesians 423. 432. 432. Uh -huh. Be kind. Be kind to one another and love one another. Thank you for watching. Please hit um, the like button, the notification bell if you want to, and even subscribe. Have a good evening. Thanks testing our microphones and the quality of the lighting. So go ahead, Debbie. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. What are we fixing today? Something. Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Chicken and Pineapple. Chicken. That's probably a good thing to know is uh, barbecue, how can I say that? Pineapple baked barbecue chicken foil packs. Okay. I like it. Okay. That's